Hello there and welcome to this tutorial for Zealous FX and basically in this tutorial you'll be doing a advanced reflection and it is advanced so you will have to have some knowledge in Microsoft PowerPoint and you should be able to navigate through the format tabs and understand all sorts of different things in PowerPoints in order to get this done nicely. First thing you're going to have to do is get an image and I originally did this for an Indonesian PowerPoint presentation so and I thought it looked nice so I decided to show how it could be done so I'll just find the image dragon fruit ah, this is the one and basically when you're choosing an image to do this sort of stuff if you're trying to do it all in PowerPoint you should find an image where the background is very white it's very different from the actual fruit or the subject in the picture and so it's easy to key out key out the white if you want to use photoshop or paint.net or something like that you can easily use that to key out the white but i'm showing how this can be done in microsoft powerpoint so you want to save that image then go back into powerpoint and insert it okay now I've got my image and I'm going to size it up and put it in the center roughly. If you want, you can also go right click grids and guides and display drawing guides and display the grid. That will help you sort of line things up properly. And also if you want, you can delete these two boxes down here. Now from here, you have to remove the background and to actually see what's going on behind it you want to change the background so I'm just going to change it to black and there you can see that there is white around this dragon fruit so I click on the image I go to the format tab recolor set transparent color and you get this nice little pointer thing and doing this you can remove the background color and the reason why I told you before that it needs to be white is because if the dragon fruit is too white or the image is too white or the subject you want to isolate is too white it will take away that also so click anywhere and there you can see it is instantly taken away the white. you can then change to any color and it should be fine it is obviously not the best you can see little bits of extra stuff there but you can easily just go into the format tab picture effects and soften the edges by just one point or two points just slightly and then change the background back to white now you've got your dragon fruit now you need to create the reflection and for that you need to copy and paste the dragon fruit and paste it yep and with the second dragon fruit you can rotate it and flip it vertically And now I'm just going to say this right now that the reason why I don't use the reflections which are built into PowerPoint is because they sort of end up in the weirdest positions and if you look carefully it almost looks as if the dragon fruit is floating or it's too high or if it's that it's in midair or something and it just doesn't look right. So I like to create my own so I have more flexibility and control. So once you've flipped your image in the flip rotate pane you have to create a square over that so go and insert shapes and drag a rectangle over that shape now you've got a rectangle you can now click on the top dragon fruit and bring it in front now with this blue square we're going to turn it into a white square and slowly bring the transparency down until you see a reflection sort of come through so right click format shape and take away the line then go to gradient fill. Now I've got this default gradient which will always happen if you click gradient and I want to remove the second point, stop to remove. Then click and change both the colors to a white. Stop one and stop two should both be white. And now if I click on stop one and bring the transparency up, you can see that a dragon fruit reflection is slowly coming in through and I like to put this at about 50%. Now you can fine tune it, you can fix it up the way you want, you can move the top one down, do whatever to make it look more realistic. Now that looks about right. 
I'm going to quickly do a shadow. So insert a shape and insert a circle, an oval. Now drag over the area of the dragon fruit and copy it twice. So you have two dragon fruits, shadows. Now select both of them, shift and format the objects and turn it both to black. Then remove the line and you've sort of set it up. You're halfway there. Now you have to go format and shape effects and use the soft edges, but this time instead of one or two, you make it 50 so until it gets a really soft feel to it. Then you can scale it down and format objects and bring the transparency down. Then as you slowly bring the transparency upwards, you can slowly see that the shadow is slowly appearing and then you can pick the top dragon fruit and bring it to the front there you can see that there's a shadow and then you can move the shadow around change the shape of it until it looks realistic until it looks proper and that's pretty good that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching a project file or example of this presentation can be found in the description below.